This is the XP Pen Artist 16 Pen Display 2nd Gen. It connects to your computer or other device and allows you to draw directly on the screen. XP Pen sent this pen display to me at no cost for review, and that's what I'm gonna do in this video. Thanks to XP Pen for sponsoring my channel. This display is compatible with all kinds of devices, from Windows to Mac OS, and even some Android devices. The work area of the display is just about 13 and a half by seven and a half inches, and that's about 15 and a half inches diagonally, which I think is a great size for a drawing display. It fits comfortably on my desk, it doesn't get in the way, and it really feels about the same size as a sketchbook, which is really what I want in a drawing tablet. And I think that size is also perfect for the resolution of the display. It's 1920 by 1080, so not Ultra HD or 4K, anything like that, but at this scale, HD resolution is just fine. So what's in the box? Besides the display, you get a stylus, replacement nibs and a tool to remove them, the three-in-one cable and a power adapter extender, the power block and adapters for different regions, a microfiber cleaning cloth, and an artist glove for keeping the screen cleaner. Now, this is not an independent tablet that you can walk around with and draw on on the go. It has to be plugged into something and you have to power it externally. You can do that one of two different ways with the included three-in-one cable or a single USB-C cable. The three-in-one cable has an HDMI cord and two USB cords. One of those USBs is for transferring data as well as some power, and the second one is just for additional power if you need it. But whatever you plug it into has to be able to supply enough power to it. My desktop, unfortunately, is not able to supply enough power, though both of my laptops were. And you'll have to supply your own USB-C cable that did not come with this device. Now, when I set this all up for the first time, I was using the 3-in-1 cable. I plugged in the HDMI to the back of my computer and I only used the data transfer USB cable just to see if it would work. And sure enough, it turned right on, but it did not get very bright. I noticed it was pretty dim. And when I increased the brightness, it really wouldn't push past about 25%. So I took the second USB cable for external power, plugged that into a phone charger, and sure enough, now I have full range of brightness. The display sits flat on my desk. There are some rubber feet on the back for grippiness so it's not slipping around. It doesn't have any kind of built-in kickstand or a stand that comes with the display. If you want to angle that up at all, that's gonna be something you'll have to invest in. There's a power button on the right side of the display. If you press it once, it turns the display off, but if you hold it down for three seconds, it actually switches into standby mode, which allows you to use it as a traditional drawing tablet controlling the screen that you're still using. I think this is a great feature. It's something that I never would have thought of. And if you like to use a stylus instead of a mouse, this is gonna allow you to do just that when you're not needing to actually draw on the display. There are also two brightness control buttons on the side, which is really nice to not have to dig through any settings menus just to increase or decrease the brightness of the display. On the left-hand side of the display are 10 customizable physical buttons. And I love this. I love that they're physical. I can tell when I'm pressing them, when I'm not pressing them, and I can customize each and every one of them, not just globally, but for individual applications, which I think is critical in customizing your display to your own workflow. The pen or stylus is Fine. There's nothing special about it. It's just plastic. It's very lightweight. There's no kind of rubber grip or any kind of sensitivity on the tip. So you're not gonna be turning this around to use it as a racer. By default, you can use one of these two buttons on the side to switch to your eraser or right click, or you can customize those as well through the XP Pen software. I've had absolutely no complaints drawing with this stylus. It feels great in my hand. Even though it is a little bit lightweight, that doesn't make the drawing experience any less for me. Along with the button customization, you can also customize the display itself. It's very easy to switch which monitor you want the display to actually control and even what portion of that screen should be controlled by the work area. Plus you can control the brightness, contrast, and even color temperature of the display through the app. My drawing experience with this display has been nothing but positive. The pen pressure, tilt sensitivity, and general responsiveness of the pen is great inside of Photoshop. And with those physical buttons on the left side, it's very easy to get into a routine of how you like to work, quickly switching between the tools that you use most often, and just having a good time drawing. The retail price for the Artist 16 second gen is $399.99 US, but it's currently on sale for $339.99, so definitely check that out if you're interested. I think this is a fantastic price for what you're getting. This display and being able to draw directly on the screen is so nice. It works great for animation and even just using as a second monitor. Plus it comes in four different colors, so you can choose whichever one fits you best. On top of that, XP Pen is holding a Halloween event right now. You can learn more about it in the links in the description. But along with that is a Halloween sale and you can get an extra 5% off using the code Halloween2022. So definitely make sure you check out those links. And if you get the Artist 16 second gen, I would love to hear what you think about it. Thanks so much to XP Pen for sponsoring this video and providing me with this device. And thanks to you for watching.